Um, our next guest needs no introduction, but I'm contractually obliged to do it, so you're gonna get it. James Bay, his debut album, Chaos and the Calm, went straight to number one, and later that year, he performed on the Pyramid stage at Glastonbury Festival. What guy? He is back for 2020, new single, Chew On My Heart, and an album coming our way. And just before we hear him perform, let's have a chat with him. It's James Bay. Here he is, the man with the most luscious locks in the world. James Bay is here. Talking of luscious locks, let's talk about your luscious locks. Stop it, honestly, stop. I've been to the hairdressers and everything. I love it, mate. I'm a big <laughs> fan. I've done, a, I've done a short haircut in the past. I am considering what you're working with. I'm considering it for my own hair, for my own, my own future, my own Ooh. Barnet future. <laughs> We'll see. We'll I, see. Rule, I, rule, I rule nothing out. I rule nothing out. All options are open. I mean, experimentation is the name of the game. So you, you've got that down. So for, first of all, thank you for blessing us with uh, these tracks you're going to be performing. Um, and I mean, you've got a gorgeous setup going on. There's like books. And tomorrow, loads of students are going to be opening their results. Do you remember your results day? I do. Um, I do. It, it, it was, I didn't like dislike school. But I sometimes struggle to know sort of how, where and how I fit in school um, and results. That, and I, you know, I tried, um, but I never quite got on with it. So uh, results day was a, uh, a kind of an intense one for me because I, I cared enough that I wanted some results. I, um, I, but, but, you know, I'd already started by the time results day came, I'd started to think about music and, uh, you know, maybe working towards a life of music and wasn't sure how school applied to that. It turns out in some ways it probably did. But um, results day, you know, it is understandably an intense day. I think even if you get the most incredible results, or even if you don't, there is a big wide world out there and there's so many opportunities. I mean, even right now, you know, through this pandemic, there are opportunities. And obviously on the other side of this pandemic, there will be more and more opportunities. So um, that has to be bared in mind. And I've, I've probably found it hard at the time on results day to, to bear that in mind. But um, if you can kind of have some people around you who are kind of echoing that message one way or another, that's important because results are important, but so is the rest of what, you know, what the future holds. I mean, that's such a good point. Like it's not going to be the be all and end all if the results you get tomorrow aren't the ones that you want. But also for this year, like no one's taking exams they this whole thing is out of their hands can you imagine that situation for you you know for some people it might have in a in a strange twist of fate uh helped anxiety to kind of uh i suppose deal with literally deal with exams less but i and i don't know the full ins and outs of what it means to have not sat them but to be receiving certain results but um that i can't really fathom and imagine what that is like but and i know it sounds cheesy and i know it sounds a bit sort of cliche but i think to be able to keep your chin up through all of that in the long term is going to do wonders really for, for anybody well bless you james i better let you go and get ready thank you for hanging out thank you for doing this as well and um making this night special for for so many people it's a joy uh, and to everybody opening up results of course i'm sending loads of love jordan it's lovely to talk to you Nice one. <laughs>